Hey, I'm on the top of the world, looking down on creation, and the only explanation I can find. How are you, everybody? Guess where we are. On the top of the world here, with our beautiful dome, new dome, and I'm looking out over Burlingame, and I can see why we call it the city of trees. What a beautiful sight it is. Wow. Well, here we are. Let's talk about the dome. Just completed. It's, the dome is in the shape of a bell. Um, and as you see, it comes right up. And right in the middle here is a copper, copper band. Uh, around the dome and we have exactly exactly replicated the original dome with the same colored tiles and the same design and so it is absolutely uh, a scintillating uh, reproduction of the original let me just introduce here to you uh, the general contractor a uh, Matt here from uh, Mochetti Construction welcome Matt Thank you, Father. Uh, his, his project manager, Royce Elmick. Welcome, you, Royce. His worker here, Paul. Welcome, Paul. Thank you. And of Thank course, you. our evergreen and well-known Carlos, <laughs> our supervisor here at, on the parish. So welcome, men, and thank you. And um, it's, it's really great to be here now at this point and to talk about the completion of it. A few little small points. I'm going to do a short blessing today but the official blessing of the dome will be from the base and we're going to do it on a week from Sunday, Sunday the 27th at 11 o'clock after the 10 o'clock mass, before the 11 o'clock mass, come join us here in front of the church and you will see the beautiful dome here in the front of the church and we'll bless it. So right now, let me just bless uh, our dome uh, and ask God to continue to keep it safe and all those who walk underneath, keep them safe. Uh, we also want to thank the Lord for all the men who worked on this project over the last year and the, for their safety and they have been uh, extremely professional in everything they have done here. And so we ask God to bless them and their families. And we ask the Lord to bless this dome, bless our cross, and continue to bless our church and bless all of our parishioners in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. One or two final points. You know that uh, there's been changes in California since the last few days. Here are the instructions for church. The Archbishop has asked us to continue to wearing masks during Mass. However, the six feet uh, distance is now done away with, and we have opened every pew, every pew is available to parishioners. Um, all doors of the church from now on will be open so people can enter and exit whatever doors they wish. Um, communion will be at the usual time of mass, uh, not at the end, at the usual time. Uh, the usual collection with the basket will be taken up at the offertory uh, from now on. Um, and so um, you're all encouraged. And of next week, starting next Sunday, 27th, the obligation to return to Mass and the, will, will be imposed again. Dispensation is over as of the 27th. So thank you and looking forward uh, to seeing you all at the weekend. Confessions and Saturday in the parking lot as usual. The 10 o'clock mass, which is the outdoor mass, will continue every Sunday during summer. Mass are not required at the 10 o'clock mass. So thank you, take care, have a great weekend. Thank you.